You're watching Behind the Line in Iceland. TGR headed over to Iceland this year with a couple of goals in mind. We wanted to build some crazy features where we were airing in front of the Arctic Ocean. So we had to start from ground zero. Usually, you know, snow's piled and blown all season. This was a scenario where we were completely in the back country, so we had to put in a cat road. We had to move tons of snow into the jump location and then build the jump. Usually it takes two cats roughly a week or two to build a big 80-foot jump. And we had one cat, this guy who had never built a big jump in his life, and he was up there probably 20 hours a day for five days building this jump. This dude is a maniac. Guy lives, eats, and breathes piston bullies. That's all he cared about was his cat and making this jump pen. Uh, yeah, the jump's getting there. It's been gnarly though. Just such crazy weather. Like it's bluebird, and then two minutes later, you can't even see the blade on the on the cat. So it's been pretty crazy. If it clears up, man, it's going to be epic. The weather really hasn't helped us out. We're struggling to even build the jump because the cat can't see anything. Well, we finished our build for the day because the weather came in and couldn't see the jump, so we decided to head home. The GPS isn't working and we're lost. I would freak out if she knew I was lost. Yo, it gets steep right there. Like right there. Yeah. You can see that? Yeah. Just checking. <laughs> oh, there's a road! There's the road! It's right there! Oh. Oh, to make it this, oh boy, that is a sketch. Yes. We have four wheel driving now. Oh. oh, we see signs of civilization. Ale is very excited. I'm happy. The man. Nice work. Thank you. The man. There was many times during the jump build in Iceland that we definitely second thought whether it was possible that we were going to get the jump done. But uh, Ale was persistent. He was not going to let down, and it paid off. We're up here in the mountains, finally kind of cleared up. We saw a bit of sun for the first time in quite a while, so we're stoked. Uh, I jumped in the cat for a bit just to try and make the tranny because it's hard to explain to somebody who hasn't done that before. We got the jump built right in time for the good weather and worked out awesome. This place is on a whole nother level of crazy looking, you know, like being able to sit right by the ocean, it pretty much just looks like a lake and then there's just mountains on either side and you gotta jump. This is really what we came for. I guess our expectations weren't too high when we first showed up and it's just been incredible. Iceland's got it all. I mean, we couldn't ask for anything more. The crew was kind of like, okay, what now? And they all kind of turned to me. I said, all right, boys, well, we're going to the big dogs. Dude! Look at where we are. 